So given an n element array, an array containing n elements, okay. So what is the total total time required or how to build a max heap? So I have already shown you that we are going to use a max heapify function which I have just shown you. So using that max heapify function we can build a heap. I'll, sh I'll show you how to do it with an example. We have already seen it anyways, right? Let the example is like this. Okay, now you just see uh, what is the uh, complete binary tree representation of this. So if I try to write it in a form of almost binary tree, we are going to get this. I think this okay one two three four one two three four eight elements right now one thing is uh, how this algorithm is going to work is initially a dot heap size equal to a dot length it is assumed that by the end of this procedure we are going to make a dot heap size equal to a dot length therefore it is setting uh, if there are eight elements it is saying that heap size is going to be eight so why do we need that eight is inside this heap we are always going to check max cp5 we are always going to check whether an element is having a left child or not let us say we have reached this index then this is having left child but it is not having right child just to know that this right child is not there we should set the heap size to be 8 otherwise what happens is it will try to refer to 9 okay and now uh, for loop this for loop is running from a dot length by 2 down to 1 the reason is this if i have 8 elements i have already shown you that the leaves will run from 8 by 2 plus 1 to 8 so what is 8 by 2 plus 1 5 to 8 right so the leaves are 1 2 3 4 starts from 5 5 6 7 8 therefore leaves are going to run from 5 6 7 8 right so that is what is the meaning of this and what about the non leaves 1 to n by 2 1 to n by 2 are the non leaves and then n by 2 plus 1 to n are the leaves isn't it so these are the non leaves and these are the leaves right so uh, we have to go to every non leaf one by one but then we have to start from the largest index that is why it is going to start from largest index and we are going to apply the heapify which means what is the first largest uh, you know non leaf 4 therefore apply heapify here if i apply heapify here then uh, 3 will come here and 0 will go there because we are doing max heap 5 and then we have to apply heap 5 at 3 from 4 3 2 1 that is the way right if I apply max heap 5 here then it is already a max heap then you apply max heap 5 here so now these 3 will be compared then 6 will come here and 8 will go there right and then you apply max heap 5 here if I apply max heap 5 here it is already a max heap that is how it is done so we are going to apply max heap this heap by function max heap by function from the uh, largest non leaf down to one right so we have already seen it and you know how to do it well now my question is what is the time taken in order to finish this off what is the total time taken so that uh, you know uh, for this build max heap you might think that in order to apply a max heap if the tree is uh, of length n of height uh, h and what is the height of the tree log n isn't it and you already know that uh, a max if i will take a maximum of order of n and we are applying uh, max if i nearly n times therefore you might think that the time taken is order of n log n right so which is as good as actually sorting the elements but then it can be shown that it is not the time complexity it is not the way to analyze it okay so i'll just show you how to analyze this one let us say we have a tree like this we need to know some few properties of a complete binary tree okay now all these leaves are of height h or of height 0 therefore 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there are 8 nodes which are having a height 0 isn't it and then all these nodes 1 2 3 4 there are 4 nodes which are having a height 1 and then these two there are 2 nodes 
which are having a height 2 right and there is one node which is having a height 3 and what is the total height of the tree 3 the reason is height of the uh, height of the root is 3 right now first thing is you should observe how many nodes of height h can be present in a complete binary tree so if i have a complete binary tree then inside that how many nodes will be at height h it can be proven that if there are n nodes in the tree then n divided by 2 power h plus 1 okay so it can be seen that if i have a tree with n nodes then n divided by 2 power h plus 1 nodes will be of height uh, h isn't it serious now in this case how many nodes are of height 0 so what is total n here total number of nodes in this tree are 15 right 15 divided by 2 to the power 0 plus 1 at most these many nodes will be present of height 0 then what is it 15 divided by 2 which is nothing but 7.5 7.5 seal is 8 got it so number of nodes of height 0 or 8 at most 8 i mean it need not be 8 if it is complete it is fine if it is incomplete i mean it is almost complete binary tree you know you might not have these two which means i am saying the maximum number of nodes of height h will be uh, these many n by 2 power h plus 1 all right what about uh, number of nodes of height 1 then we have to put a 15 divided by 2 power 1 plus 1 this will give you the maximum number of nodes that could be present in any complete binary tree with a maximum with a height of uh, 1 right then what is it 15 divided by 4 right then what do you get 3 point something then we are going to get 4 therefore 4 nodes will be present of height 1 now let us see how many nodes are present of height 2 2 plus 1 isn't it which is nothing but 15 divided by 8 so we get 1 point something this uh, seal is 2 therefore 2 nodes will be present of height h of height uh, 2 then how many nodes will be present of height 3 15 divided by 2 power 3 plus 1 which is nothing but 15 divided by 16 so we get one one node is there so whatever numbers are given you here they are the at most therefore number of nodes that could be present in a complete binary tree or almost complete binary tree of height h could be maximum of this much so they are not going to uh, increase beyond that okay so that one you should remember right so now we got that the number of nodes of height h could be a maximum of n by 2 power h plus 1 in a heap why heap is a almost complete binary tree right and next thing is if i apply max heapify if i apply a max heapify procedure at any level then to any node what is the maximum one or what is the time taken by the max heapify that is equal to the height of the node see if you apply a max heapify at this level then the number of comparisons and swappings required will be order of the height isn't it therefore if i apply at this level max if i will take order of one time if i apply this at this level max if i will take order of two time if i apply at this level it will take order of three time in general if i apply max if i to any node of height h then the time taken will be order of h right therefore we are going to apply max epify on all the nodes let us say we are even applying on the leaves actually we are not applying on the leaves because leaves are already heaps even if you assume that we are applying on all the nodes including the leaves then what will be the total work done is uh, so at every at a height h the work done in order to you know number of nodes of height h will be these many then work done by the max max heap if i apply max heap on all these uh, nodes is this into order of h why these many nodes are present at height h and if i apply a max heap on any of these nodes the work done will be order of h therefore total work done by the or the total time taken by the max heap procedure is this much if i apply max heap on all the nodes of height h and in a tree 
a height the height can range from height can range from 0 to log n right this is the total time see the reason is this our our max heap is not going to you know apply we are not going to apply a max heap always from the root we are going to apply max heap from this and then this 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 and we are going to slowly grow right therefore work done to apply max heap on this level is lesser and then work done to apply at this level is lesser than this level therefore work done by the max heap is not actually log n at every node you know it is depending on the height of that node therefore if i have these many nodes of height h then the total time uh, taken by the uh, max uh, max heap if i algorithm is this much right and that height can range from 0 to n isn't it then uh, you could even write it as instead of this 2 power h plus 1 you can even write it as into 2 isn't it and now order of h could be written as some constant into h right therefore this is the total time taken now you can see that n 2 and c are constants therefore i could pull them out so n 2 and c are constants if i pull them out then i'll get cn by 2 outside then sigma h equal to 0 to log n h by 2 power h right so actually we are not applying uh, this algorithm on the whenever height h equal to 0 uh, you know i'm just you know for the sake of completion in, we should actually write height h equal to 1 to n but then uh, what is happening is even if you write 0 that it is not going to hurt anything because h is going to be 0 right now this is order of instead of stopping at log n i can go till infinity the reason is i have a result there so h equal to 0 to infinity see i am going to i should have stopped at log n but then i will go to infinity then i will write h by 2h definitely this factor is greater than this factor therefore i am putting order of which means so definitely this factor is greater than this factor therefore i am putting less than or equal to now it it is it can be proven that so this is a harmonic progression if you take a harmonic progression and you apply uh, integration and differentiation we are going to get the result that this could be equal to 2 so for this proof you please refer to Corman book in that Corman book appendix a dot 8 there is a proof that this entire number is nothing but 2 therefore if i put substitute 2 here i get the time complexity as order of n right so whatever it is i mean to prove that the time taken by the max build a max heap is order of n and it is not actually order of n log n therefore in order to build a max heap we are going to have uh, a time of order of n right from scratch if the you know if the entire array is not at all following heap property then if you have to build it from scratch the total time taken will be order of uh, n how did i prove it first thing is number of nodes at a level h in a complete binary tree or a max heap i mean almost uh, complete binary tree which means a heap is n by 2 power h plus 1 right and then the work done by the max heapify at every level or at every node is different and that differs with respect to height if the height is increasing definitely work done is going to increase if the height is decreasing work done is going to decrease but whatever it is the work done is order of h okay so using this proof we have seen that the time taken by this one is order of n then what about the uh, space complexity so we are going to call max heap one by one isn't it therefore the space complexity required will be the space complexity taken by max heap at max and we have already seen that max heap is going to take a space complexity of order of log n finally when the max heap is called max heap phi is called at the root then it is going to take order of log n and all the other function calls are not going to take order of i mean they are going to take less than log n only and moreover this function call is made one after the other therefore the total time space complexity required by this build max heap is equal to the maximum space complexity taken by any of the max heap phi which is nothing but order of log n and when is that going to happen whenever you call max heap phi on the root got it
so space complexity is order of log n and time complexity is order of n so in order to build a heap right we don't need extra memory we just need a stack which will be of size log n and we need a time of order of n okay now we shall see how to apply this uh, heap method this heap data structure in order to do the heap sort 